All right, let's keep it more interactive. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you like popular music. <laughs> I hate popular music. <laughs> I hate it because most of the time, popular music is factually inaccurate. And I only listen to factually accurate music. <laughs> this is why I really love Russia's national anthem. It goes like that. Glorious Russia, big and strong. Big and strong. Factually accurate. <laughs> now, compare that, for example, to Justin Timberlake's Cry Me a River. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, I have been to Cry Me a There is no river. <laughs> you know, for me, the biggest difference between, you know, uh, Moscow, where I'm from, and London, where I currently live, it's people on the streets. You know, in Moscow, people are all tense, grim, they're always running somewhere. And in London, people are so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> they are walking down the road, chatting, laughing, drinking their <laughs> beer, eating their sandwich. I like when people eat and drink outside. It's so much easier to poison them. <laughs> I have recently started working on my accent because I think I sound not enough Russian. Seriously, when I speak to a British person, I can see it in their eyes. They're like, is this guy Polish? <laughs> they have hope. <laughs> they have hope that after Brexit I will fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were never in European Union. You know, a lot of people think that Russia is stuck in Soviet communist times, but it's not true. Moscow, for instance, is very modern. We have all the same Western brands. Like, if I'm in Moscow and I go shopping, I go to Karl Marx and Spencer. 